In this session, I'll show you how to display media using the various view modes. Keyflow Pro provides thumbnail, list, hybrid, preview, and map view modes. You can easily switch between these five view modes anytime. Thumbnail view displays a thumbnail image of the media. The actual thumbnail image is a frame of the video file that was imported and an overlay icon representing the type of media. You can resize the thumbnails of the media as you want. At the bottom right slider, drag to the right to enlarge and drag to the left to reduce. List view displays the media titles and other metadata in columns. This view is useful when you want to view media information or sort by any field. Hybrid view displays the thumbnail image of the media with title and other information. This view is useful when you want to view both media information and the thumbnail image. Preview view displays a preview file of the current selected media. For images, you can see the original source file. For video, you can see a low-res video using the embedded video player, as long as you check the preview option in the encoder settings and preferences. If you didn't check that option, you'll see the original source video. In addition, the player supports timecode, frame number, and a timecode viewer. Keyboard shortcut here is Ctrl-T. It also supports the JKL shortcut keys for playback control, up to 16 times normal speed, as well as frame-by-frame -frame control using the left and right arrow keys. Map view displays GPS info using integrated Apple Maps. In the map category of the left sidebar, you can easily find the media with location information, such as city or address. Oh, and one more thing, you can hide or show the sidebar and or inspector for more workspace. Using command left bracket and command right bracket performs the show and hide. Now let's focus on organizing your media. Keyflow Pro has a fabulously intuitive user interface, so you can easily control the features you want. For example, if you want to move the media to another project, you can simply drag and drop the media to the other project as you want. Also, you can use an easy way to keep track of media by marking them with a flag. When you do, only media marked with that flag are shown when filtering for flags in the sidebar. If you want to remove the flag, simply click on the flag icon again to toggle it off. And you can use more features using the context menu options such as Reveal in Finder, Send to Final Cut Pro 10, Share, and Run Workflow. We'll cover these in more depth later. When you delete the media, the files will be moved to the trash first. So deleted files are saved in Keyflow Pro's trash until you empty it. Let's look at how to search media and edit media info. You can search media using keywords such as title, tags, and file extension by default. Once you've found the media you want, you can edit the media info such as title, color, and tags. As you can see, tags can be entered for individual files or multiple files at once. Then the media can be searched using the tags you entered. Keyflow Pro supports AND and OR Boolean operators and phrase searching using quote marks. So for example, if you use AND, as you can see, the search result contains both Borake and Sunset. If you use OR, as you can see, the search result contains either Sunset or Sunrise. If you use quote marks, as you can see, the search result contains the phrase, taste is good. If you want to search using a path name, choose Keyflow Pro Preferences, click the search pane, and be sure to check this option on the bottom left. This is the default option for search. Now you can search and preview the media using the path name, even if the storage is offline. With this feature, you can manage your external hard drives more efficiently even if you already manage the media files with appropriate folder and file names. The Smart Media Box is a similar feature to the Finder's Smart Folder. To do this, choose New Smart Media Box. The keyboard shortcut is Shift-Command-S. For example, let's suppose you want to make a recently imported Smart Media Box. Then you can set the option to find the media that was imported within the last hour.
You can add other Smart Media Boxes as you need them. You can also edit the Smart Media Box settings and change their order anytime. Finally, I'll show you how to drag and drop media to other applications. You can simply drag and drop media to other applications directly, such as Pages, Keynote, Photoshop, Final Cut Pro 10, and Premiere Pro CC. This allows seamless workflow between Keyflow Pro and other applications. Thanks for watching this Keyflow Pro tutorial.